Uh, Tiffany, we're not doing that. Tiffany Marie is here. Why did you open yourself up for this, Tiffany? Tiffany Marie said, um, shut the fuck up, John. Stop talking about me. Stop lying about me. It's played out. Never said a single racist thing about you and never begged to be a mod for you. Who is poor, John? It sure as fuck isn't me. Well, I'll be damned, Tiffany, because I don't see your name in the goddamn title. I only see the goddamn racist guy you always have on your panel talking to and being nice to. The only thing I'm talking about, Tiffany Marie, I never in my life said that you said something racist. I said your goddamn friend here did that you have on your channel. Your goddamn friend that said I had a big Jew near nose. Tiffany, you want to come on here and, and fuss and cuss about what your friend, yes, your F, your R, your I, and your N, said about me? Now, you did beg about being a motherfucking mob. I made you a mob for a hot little second, you lying little motherfucker. And I realized you're, you're full of shit and you stay in trouble. So I said, I don't know if I'm asleep. This motherfucker may fuck up my channel. So I remove you and others from being a mob. I went and talked to other people. I added them back as a mob. And you kept coming to me trying to be a mob again. And I kept saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Never. Tiffany said no one said anything racist. Where the fuck have you been? All right, Tiffany, I'm going to make sure we, we're on the same page here. Tiffany, are you saying that if a guy calls you a big nose Jew nigger, that that's not a racist comment? I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Never. <laughs> How did you get over here, Tiffany? <sighs> Your homie said that. You know who said that. Don't come over here acting like that. You know who said that. You know who said that. Bring your motherfucking ass on my panel. You do your little debate shit like you try to do everybody else. Since you over here talking that bullshit. The people who talked about the kid being black are the real racists. Tiffany, you done walked into a motherfucking trap. Hold on. Hold on, Tiffany. Stay your motherfucking ass on over here. Stay your motherfucking ass over here. We want to talk about some of these comments you took up for since you're here, goddammit. Don't you motherfucking run, neither. Hold on, Tiffany. The Laura's right there, Tiffany. I feel like the Joker. Ah, that's a toy. Don't know what to do with it. Tiffany doesn't want racism address or spoken about. Sean, let's panel up. I kind of feel, I kind of feel like uh, I, I hate that I use this program. Because this isn't stream yards where I can just bring people up. But I ain't going to need to bring people up. Let me put me right down here. And let me add this right here. Today on trial, we have Tiffany Marie. She's being accused of standing there with racist people saying comments. Going to back for them. That is the claim set here today on Miss Tiffany Marie. I want you to explain some of this shit. I have finance major. Speaks Mandarin. Just go. my husband. You got to hear Tiffany, you have a friend uh, you've been taking up for the entire week by the name of Keck. And uh, this week, your friend Keck has said that Mexicans are loud people. Do you concur with this statement? Your same friend has said that gypsies steal. She also said that black people are from the ghetto. Before we begin this trial, I just want to just make sure I understand the defense that you have here. Are you saying that there's nothing wrong with the statements that your friend made? And I'm only bringing you up because you have publicly one of your platform to uh, to help her and defend her. I'm going to wait for your response before I move forward. Uh, you don't get to do that on this channel or I'm, I'm going to have to take you to a larger channel because I think if you come to a smaller channel that I'm using and say, I'm sorry, it's my name, Laura John. You don't get to say that when you go public on a platform to defend law during these statements. So I'm asking you not because you're a law. I'm asking you because you have gone to back to defend and said that she's not a racist when these are blatant things she said. So I'm asking you, Tiffany Marizi. No, I, 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 I make the subjects over here. I'm asking you. Are these statements that you stand for? Judge Joe Brown music play. I'm, I'm, I'm saying if you, if you were to shut your little, <laughs> you just shut your little ass up 
and not said nothing. Nobody would have said something to you. But when you come out here and defending comments like that and statements like that, you put yourself in it, Miss Marie. So there's a reason that I'm mentioning your name. Don't talk to Dana. I'm talking to you. Talk to daddy. All right, y'all. Yeah, I just want to make sure we got Tiffany on record right here. Somebody screenshot that. Tiffany Marie just said that Laura, uh, she wants to see proof that Laura said Mexicans are loud. Now, my video is too long because I'm breaking it down. It'd be harder to find. So I'm going to go pull up Burnt Toast video where I got this from. I don't know. Tiffany, you know I don't I, I don't say nothing without proof. Come on now. You know me better than that right there. So all you're doing is buying time. Let me pull up Burnt Toast and show you. I'm going to show you all of them where she said black people are from the ghetto. And I'm going to show you where she said Mexicans are loud. And I'm going to show you what she said about, uh, I mean, pick one, pick one. She, she, she didn't even talk about white women too, but you, you kind of making me feel like you, you like insulting my intelligence here. You know, I ain't going to say shit without no motherfucking proof. You know me better than that. Miss Marizi. And so what it sounds like to me is you need to start vetting your friend's statements before you run out here and try to take up for them. That's what it sounds like to me. We're going we gonna, to we gonna come back to the little dark energy shit, you lying sack of shit. Uh, hold on. Let me call Tiffany out because, again, you don't know who you fucking with. Tiffany said, I heard her say black people are from the ghetto. And she went into all capital letters to say, John, don't you remember supporting her for months after she said that? I want you to show me proof of this. Everything I just learned about this motherfucker saying this shit, I just learned in the whole last month. The only thing I heard Laura say about black people, I, uh, I caught her ass out publicly on it. This motherfucker said that black all, all, all Barack Obama's benefits are made just for black people. And she said she didn't get the benefits because she came late. And I said, that sounds like you lazy and should have woke your ass up early. So you want me to show evidence? I'm going to show evidence. If you can show a single fucking screenshot of evidence that I knew that Laura said this stuff, I'll delete my John Crime channel, you lying sack of shit. Don't come over here with that bullshit. That don't work over here. We use facts, baby. You don't forgot how you fucking. Not a lot of people. You're black. Right here. Yeah. Also, right there. Do you do you agree with your friend right there holding up a black dog? We got a bunch of black women right here in the chat. Uh, Tiffany Marie, do you agree with your friend saying that her black dog is a daughter? Do you think that there's nothing wrong with that? Uh, you know, you hear my point is my children. Hold on. You. I don't need you no more, Dana. Your 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 time over with. It's Tiffany Marie time. Don't run. You said that Laura never said this about Mexicans. Do not run. And if anybody else looking at this right here. Uh, if anybody else looking, uh, uh, oh my God, a black dog thought violent was white. It, she just picked up a black dog. If anybody else is looking at Burnt Toast video and you can go and find a clip faster than me skimming through it right here. I want to find all of them since Tiffany's here. You fucked up coming over here. Oh, blacks come from the ghetto. Let's go, uh, Tiffany. Income minorities come from the inner. Wait, hold on. I think this is the part where she said about Mexicans too. We may got a two for one right here, Tiffany. When Laura said that about Obama, I, I went at Laura live. So how the fuck? This wasn't in private, Tiffany. This was live. I said, you lazy as fuck. You came to someplace late. So how I debated her in front of everybody. So how you can say that didn't happen, Tiffany? You lying sack of shit. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. The very, very Obama sucked as a f so, okay, I'll use ghetto. It's the same fuck. So if you're looking for police... By the way, we got black uh, uh, women professors and everything in the audience, Tiffany Marie. You came at the right motherfucking time. Let me teach you something since you claim you have this fake empathy about others. Let me show you how this looks to other people, Tiffany. Thing like that. Is it racist to say that COVID is China's fault? No. Hold on. This motherfucker... It's not racist, though. That fucking bullshit. I needed help in the ghetto I'm worried in a backhanded way Melanie but that's if you used it all the time if it's good for me but I have to stand up for others Megan that's so that's so ridiculous Obama was a fucking joke unless you were a no you don't get to do that Tiffany see I understand about deflection and I understand about ad hominem attacks and I understand about all fallacies I don't know why you came over here you don't get to say that Laura didn't say this and then come back and say my name isn't Laura when I'm about to show you it come out of her fucking mouth directly that's not how this works you're here because of your own actions, Tiffany. You're here because you stuck your nose up to say that Laura didn't say some shit and Laura's not racist. So we have the exact statements that she said. So since you came out and say this shit and you came over here, I'm going to show them. You don't tell me what uh, you don't get to tell me what I get to do, John. I do over here. Shut your motherfucking ass up. How about that? <laughs> now, deal with these facts. 
that Laura said this shit. Very, very, very poor black person I, living in. I'm not holding you responsible for Laura's words. Laura was, I, I called Laura out on my own. You stuck your nose inside of it when you jumped in to defend her. When you tried to come out here and white knight for Laura, you stuck your nose in it. And the get And either, this is what I'm saying. This is, this is, uh, listen, y'all, this is how people show their true colors. If Tiffany really cared about black Americans or she cared about any other minority that Laura put down, when she realized, oh man, I came out here and spoke up for Laura, but I didn't know that Laura said this. Tiffany just proved to us she is either lying and she knew or she did not know. The best case scenario would be she didn't know. If Tiffany did not know, she should be happy to see her what I'm about to play for her. Because then she'll know like, oh my God, I had no idea she said this. It's best that I go correct these mistakes. See, it's kind of hard to live that life of doubling down because I know the real you. You don't give a fuck about no goddamn summer whales. You don't give a fuck about these cases that you're doing. You don't give a fuck about racism. You're a dirty motherfucker. I know the real you. I know the real you. So don't sit up here and try to act like you fucking nice over here because this isn't how a nice person acts. If a nice person feels that they were taken up for a friend who did something wrong and they didn't know their friend did it. As soon as they found out that their friend did it, they wouldn't be fussing at the other person. Can I get an amen from the audience? Do you pretend to be nice, Tiffany? That's why you make a mistake with every comment. A real nice person, once they realize they went out here to bat for a person and did not know that what the, the person really said, wouldn't be mad at me. Can I get an amen from the nosebleed sections? I'm sorry. The big nose juice section. Keep showing that face, Tiffany. If you want to, if you were that, Obama was great. But just Sunspear, I have a personal, like, um, a personal story that. We got black women uh, saying amen, Tiffany, in the audience right here. Well, you might want to read the comments. Goes with that. I'm not just making that up and it's not racist. It's fact. It's absolute fact. I needed help back then. Absolutely needed help. My claim is you already seen what I'm showing you, but if you haven't seen it, I'm trying to help you mask and pretend like you're nice. You probably want to keep listening, Tiffany. And I went to every fucking possible like place that offers help. And I read about all these things Obama did. And I read about all these programs Obama put together. Tiffany, I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'm trying to help you build your YouTube channel. You ready? You just said... Find a single racist comment I have ever made, then talk to me. That is another deflection. I have said publicly right here, I'm calling you out for taking up for racist comments coming from your friends. You purposely use your popularity to go to bat, to tell naive people to uh, to uh that don't know the details of a situation. When you do that, you are actually helping to uh, spread racism because you're making people feel comfortable saying statements such as what Laura is saying. I know that there's a way that I can pull other popular people to take up for me. Now, only two ways out of this. You're a piece of shit and you know it and you did this on purpose. Or you spoke too soon without knowing exactly what Laura said. Pick your fucking poison. But you don't get to switch and change the subject. I stay on subject. You you can't do me like you do everybody else, Tiffany. Other, it was all fucking bullshit. Absolute bullshit. If people knew how to work the system, they got it. And social services told me exactly who got it. And nothing to lose. That's exactly, that's not racist. That's fact. Understand the difference between racism and fact. Yeah, P I'm sorry. That's not racist. Tiffany, we have black professors here. Oh, my God. You, you really need to leave. Tiffany, anonymous wish. And a lot of people was on that stream where they made their own decisions based upon what Laura said. And you did something, Tiffany. You focus on the word dark. And then you start saying that Laura was talking about dark energy when she didn't know she was live, when she thought that she was in silence. Why didn't you mention the word ghetto, Tiffany? I got your, your clip. Your clip is going to be played here. Everybody who tried to defend Laura didn't say anything about ghetto, didn't say anything about her being in private and saying that she would never say this publicly. You focus solely on the word dark. That is misleading and taking things out of context. And you spread this to people who don't know. But when I present all of the information, I didn't have to say anything. I'm trying to show you if you care. This is what I'm saying. Y'all motherfuckers are evil and pretend like you nice. If you care about the plight 
of minorities, you would want to hear them. This is what they saw. You came out here and you took a falar. This is what they saw. They saw the whole thing. I didn't take nothing out of context. See, you just did it again. You're a fucking idiot. You're not ready for somebody like me. Tiffany, we're not going to talk about no dark. We're going to talk about the whole thing in, in its entirety. You like to pull something out of context. I don't follow down those paths. I stick on the subject. I stick on the subject. And then you had the audacity to call black people racist when we mentioned that Molly propped a little black kid on the stream. A woman who realizes her friend doesn't know that they're alive. So when her friend is saying blatant racist shit, she knows they're alive. So she goes, ah, 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 try to over talk them. She says that I'm a racist. All right, that's awesome. You just prove it. I need you to prove that I'm a racist. You're making yourself look bad, Tiffany. I'm calling you out on details and I'm showing shit. I want you to prove that I'm a racist. Tiffany, if you have new subscribers to your channel and they think that you're this nice person that's delivering great information about Summer Wells, how can you call a black man racist out the blue for no reason and think that that's not going to make you look bad? I know you're talking about me, Tiffany. This is almost too easy. You are a racist point blank. Show your ass. Tiffany, I need you to show one thing that makes me a racist. Everything I believe, Tiffany, a bunch of white women, a bunch of white men went live about your friend saying the same thing. Are they racist too? Everything I believe, Tiffany, when I showed it to nothing but black Americans, they believe me, Tiffany. Are they racist too? What is the one key thing solely about John, regardless of what everybody else said on their topic, that makes me a racist, Tiffany? I'm going to play your friend while you think on that. Racist, though, that's fucking factual. Look at the statistics. It's fact that Obama helped the super, super, super poor black community from the ghetto. That's fact. Statistics show this. He created programs that nobody knew about unless you knew how to work the system, unless you knew social services and every. So Tiffany's defense is to use the bland generalization. She's doing that because she's an idiot. But she, but by being an idiot, she assumed that all of you white women are over here are some dumbasses. She don't know that some of you guys are lawyers that follow her. She don't know that some of you guys are, are fucking judges. She don't know how intelligent you people are. For her to say sitting on here talking about a bunch of white women calling them racist. Tiffany, you came on a stream of me talking about a white man who called me a big nosed Jew. You can't make this more easier for me to defend. I'm on my channel talking about a bunch of white women. I have went live the last two times about goon you sent over, the white man, boy, if I can call him that, with one tooth. And then you say, point out an African-American child on stream in a white woman's house. Thank you. Thank you for saying that, you dumb fuck. Tiffany, if your friend knows that she's live and she know that her friend on the phone and her friend has no idea that she's live and she's saying racist shit, her first thing was to try to help her friend on the phone. La, 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 She tried to help her friend. When she realized, I can't help my friend, my friend is going to catch hell because this shit is about to spread all over the internet where her saying this racist shit about black Americans in Atlanta, Georgia. The best thing I need to do is save myself. Hey, come here, black boy. Come here. Come here. Lean down on the camera and smile. He had nothing to do with this, Tiffany. Let me ask you something. In a community that's dealing with true crime, that people are doing all this doxing, uh, CPS call, calling the sheriff, call the police, with your friend laying in urine on the ground in New Orleans after stealing some shit, getting arrested for a second time stealing some shit. Out of all of this fuck shit, do you think it was safe for her to grab someone else's child that's spending the night at her house and throw him on camera in front of all of these people? Do you think it's awesome, uh, okay for her to do it again, prop this black child up again to save her own ass when he has on nothing but his underwear? Do you think his black parents would like that if they knew the full context of that conversation that went on, Tiffany, that they would like that their black child was snatched on camera like that as a prop? If you have a problem with me saying this, you have a problem with black Americans because we all feel the same way. It's nothing that you can say to put on John crimes as an individual. Multiple people came out and did this. God, you like the stereotype. You like the stereotype. Want to hear something from moms? Here's a, a white mom, Tiffany. If it was my child, I would have flipped the fuck out. Here's a, a, here's a man, Tiffany. It looks like a white man, Tiffany. Wow, she's just setting a straw man argument one after the other. I know, and it's awesome for me. Because now I got one spot she can't delete or remove the video that she's making herself look like a fucking idiot. 
Is that what you think? He is a prop? No, Tiffany. Those are your words. Stop putting down black people. I said he was used as a prop. Intelligent people know the difference. Any any other way you want me to embarrass you? Hold on. We're going to still play this shit because you're not getting off the hook with this. Everything like that. Is it racist to say that COVID is China's fault? No. Uh, that's another straw man argument to say, heaven forbid, Marissa has a, a child of different race in the house. We don't care about a child of different race in the house. I care how he was used in that particular moment. That's what I care about. Uh, other than that, we wouldn't have cared. We wouldn't have known. We wouldn't. Have, we only know he was used because of what Laura said about black Americans in Atlanta, Georgia. That Twistiny. <laughs> I like that name, Twistiny. <laughs> It doesn't go over her head. She's an idiot, but I, what she thinks she's doing, she's not doing. This is actually golden for me. The first time it was golden with Dana, but what Tiffany is doing, I'm quite sure her little get-along gang is going to say, you should have never went over there, man. This makes you look bad. Uh, Wendy V, y'all get ready to clip this shit. That's a fact, too. The stupidest shit gets you off. So if you're looking for politically correct, go find Bill Maher. You're not going to find me politically correct. So instead of using the word inner, inner street, inner city, I'll use ghetto. It's the same fucking thing. But politically correct is inner city kids. Well, it's just really the same fucking thing. So, okay. Let me start with my comments earlier. My comment. Er Crazy is I was going to show this on the other channel, but the black people coming over here. It's two in one, Tiffany earlier was that and again we're not going to be politically correct my comment earlier was that obama sucks obama sucked as a fucking president and he catered to low class now again i'm not being politically correct he catered to african americans catered to the entire black community the very very poor black community that is who he catered to now, the very, very poor black community doesn't live in the high class areas. So it do you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that low income minorities. Now I'm going to be politically correct. Here it comes, Tiffany. Brace yourself. Low income minorities come from the inner cities. In layman's terms, blacks come from the ghetto. Tiffany, uh. I noticed a long time ago, you like to put emphasis on your sentences like you sick fuck. And I, I know you go unchecked because you hang around idiots, but those words are only powerful when the statement you said before that. Now, listen, I'm going to show you, you dumb fuck. I just called you a dumb fuck. I'm going to prove it. You said these are all Lars words. I want to know what the fuck have I ever said? No one over here accused you ever of saying anything racist. I said that you took up for a racist. So if I, the claim is you took up for a racist, you came out here and you took up for law. I'm showing that law is a racist. This is what you took up for. This is what your unsuspected new subscribers did not know. And you came up to overshadow that. They like you if they subscribe to you. So if they hear you say these things, they're not going to investigate. Well, Tiffany says she cool. She cool. This is what you took up for. So you either knew this. And you just told on yourself, you said, uh, I want to know, uh, you said you've got nothing. I do got something because I'm proving that you took up for a racist. You're not going to ever try to put me to the fallacy that I call you a racist. So you can debate me from that false premise. That's a false premise because I never said that you fucking dumbass. And you said you were friends with Laura when she said this, you sick fuck. When Laura came out and did this video talking about black people, I went onto her channel to debate her. This is public information. You can hear the disdain in my voice as she's just a lazy fuck who arrived too late to pick up benefits. I came back and did it again on this channel. I got the video on my channel after I went on her live, Tiffany. But you just told on yourself. You can no longer use the moniker that you didn't know about this because you just said you knew about it. You knew when this happened. So you knew this happened. And you came out here for your new audience to say that she's not a racist. This is only black people. She's going to go against other races on here, too. It, I'm sorry. Blacks are from the ghetto. Kick. To be politically correct. Low income minorities come from the inner cities. How's that manipulation? I can't believe you guys. Like, are you like really angry? Like, I can't believe you're this dumb. You're fucking your shit up. Like, this is. 
too easy. You are abusive. Yeah, the trigger words to say about a man, but Tiffany, uh, I think the times have changed. Now, we in the, we are in the time of of show me. And we're not in the time of just saying something. Anybody can say something. You can, I can call you a racist if I want to. You know, I don't call you a racist because I ain't never heard you say nothing racist. I say that you take up for racist people because I saw you take up for racist people. I tell the truth about people. So you can't just use trigger flavored words like uh, abusive and stuff like that to a man without showing any evidence to the contrary. Here's a woman here. How the fuck is John abusive? Because he's using his logical takedown on you was what Laura said, racist or not. They're asking you, uh, remember, John, chess, have a great day. I think that you don't know how to play chess. I really think that you don't know how to play chess. <laughs> You're the last person I'm worried about playing chess on. Uh, anonymous, which said, let's test that theory, John. I'm asking her. She's not going to answer the question. Was this statement racist? You told me that Laura didn't say anything racist. You told me that I made this up on this live. I went and played one of three claims that I made. The other claim was about Mexicans. Very simple, Tiffany. Is this racist? Tiffany, is this right? You have black subscribers. Is this right what Laura said? Motherfucker talking about some chess. You don't know who the fuck you fucking with. Low income minority. Wait, still, this, this, this girl, who she act like a girl. She always turns to a girl. I, and this just make her look worse. Tiffany Marie just said, waste away accusing a bunch of white women for being racist. She said this on a live that I made from a white man that's 27 years old that called me a big nose Jew nigger who uh, seems that Tiffany don't have a problem with that anyway. Um, still waiting for the evidence. You, all these claims you're making, you got to show proof of all these claims, baby. John, you are much nicer to women than men when making your point. Always. You see how I do men. I mean, you saw how I crushed that dude last week and made him destroy his own YouTube channel. Motherfucker got so scared. He took the whole channel down. You saw, you see how I talk when it's men, when it's women, but somebody like Tiffany makes it easy for me because she used to the old way of the drama community. She not used to true crime. She not used to dealing with people with logic in the drama community. All you got to do is say something. Ah, John's abusive. Then they go and make these live and talk about you being abusive in the real world. When it's a more people than just hang around drama, you have to go out and show evidence to the claims that you make. My claim is that you took up for a racist. Yes. Now Th this is my evidence here. The, the the people that watch you had no idea that that she did all of this when you went to take up for her. That's my claim. I'm going to be politically correct. Low income minorities come from the inner cities. In layman's terms, blacks come from the ghetto. It, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. One is and Tiffany. These other motherfuckers worry about you and chess. You're not on my level, baby. This is this is child's play here. I'm on my smallest channel. This is child's play, boo boo. Politically correct. One is politically incorrect. But at the end of the day, they both make they both mean the exact fucking same thing. So let's get that straight. I don't like rap music. This is gonna this may sound racist, but listen as Laura approves, she's a racist. I don't like rap music at all. I hate rap music, but. If somebody hates blacks, aren't they not going to listen to rap music? Good thing about living in Alabama, there's a lot of black men, and black men like big women. They like my fat ass. That's GBIM, like it or don't. Oh, shit. Tiffany arguing with her own subscribers. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Where my popcorn at? Oh, shit. That's a good thing about living here. White men, and eh, not so much. Black men, they love some beef. They're asking you a question, Tiffany. They say, stop deflecting. Is it racist or not? Everybody want to know the one question. And here's the thing about with, with bad people. I keep telling y'all, bad people do what they think good people to do. She will not answer the question. If you are a good person and you don't like racism, this is an easy fucking question to answer. She will not answer the question. I love some beef. Mark makes popcorn for the entire chat. Yeah, spread it around, y'all. Give to give him to him in the nose. Give it to him in the Jewish big nose bleed section. Beef on their women. I always get hit on by black guys. Yep, I do. <laughs> the bigger the cushion. <laughs> they do though. It's true. Gen B will call you. No, that's not racist. That's fact though. 
They do like bigger women. I get my hair done tomorrow. I get my roots did tomorrow. That's going to be nice. Love, it needs- Black women, brace yourself. You're about to get triggered. Tiffany, you'll be all right. I get my roots did. And um, speaking of someone asked about extensions. What Molly was saying is that when you have tracks, that's like what um for they clip in to say it for like black hair, but very thick nappy hair. And when you put in tracks, you take a long piece of hair and you braid it into your scalp, and it's just like this long thick. Like you have to have big thick nappy hair to begin with, otherwise you're gonna see it. Like I could yeah, never it's noticeable. It. Yeah, I could never do tracks on my hair. Um, some people do tracks temporarily and then it's Tiffany. This is Jenny. Uh, her husband, I, I may be wrong. Tiffany, her husband is a detective, but I know he was working on the case that you're working on. And, um, that's how she came to this community. She said, Tiffany, uh, Jenny says you ladies came to a community that you all were not aware of my circulation. And my husband has spoke on cases with me. Molly couldn't wrap her head around that. I do not have a channel. You probably should pay more attention to the subscribers and people that you have. And, you know, what you got to understand, Tiffany, when you get mad at me, when you take your anger out on me, just John, you you hurting your own people, man. You you got you got black people that subscribe to you. You got Jewish people that subscribe to you. You got Asian people that subscribe to you. All of these are people that Laura in this one video blatantly put down. You got to understand. I don't think you know the YouTube game, Tiffany, man, like. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's why my first video talking about this, and, and that's what I'm saying. You came to me. My first video talking like this gave you props. Go back and look at the first video when I called Laura out on these racist fucking comments she was making. I was like, yo, Tiffany, them trying to grow their channel. They're not going to stand for this. What did you do? You doubled down and took up for Laura. You doubled down. You was like, um, let me correct John. I have no problem and issues with what Laura says. Just, um, it just looks fake. I didn't, th- I didn't think you was going to do it. I didn't think you was going to do it. You did it. You doubled down. Here you are looking stupid and destroying your channel. The only thing saving you is that this is on John Hinge. But I don't know. We're going to see what's going to happen since you're trying to talk about some motherfucking chess. I'll teach you better than I can goddamn tell you. Um, Tracks done right? Like A black professor says, Tiffany, a black woman professor says she weaponizes her blindness to make crash remarks about black people because she feels superior to them. The way she talks is like, I'm stupid and I know it, but it's facts when it's falsehood. I'm not making this up, Tiffany. That is literally a black woman professor here. And we're going to debate about the size of the college later. A lot of people that use tracks, the reason why they do it mostly on I hate to say black people. It's because the quality of the hair, not really the quality, but they like a big shine. And that's how I knew Alicia's hair was fake because it was just so shiny and just so fake. You look like you just got freshly fucked. Do I look like who I carry as a professor, John? Absolutely not. And this is wonderful and brilliant. I love your maturity, Tiffany. Uh, By the way, have you heard anything in the video that's racist so far, Tiffany? I wish. I know, right? <laughs> hey, I got long duck dong upstairs. And this morning, his girlfriend was creeping out of here. I was like, mm-hmm. How old is he? Uh, he, I think he's 21, definitely 21. Oh. Yeah, he's a little Chinese kid. <laughs> he's sweet, though. I'm going to miss him. Oh. She just called her Asian foreign exchange student. Again, another set of parents trusting their child in her household long duck dong again tiffany i would like to ask you something i don't give a fuck how much she adores somebody you can think you adore somebody you still can crash and and hurt them just as i don't think those black parents would have want their black son in his underwear propped on her channel to try to prove she's not a racist i don't think that this asian kid's parents would like her calling her their son long duck dong uh, the generalization that we changed from the 1980s from a John Hughes flick, 16 Candles. I don't think they're parents. It's like you keep going against regular nice people, Tiffany. You think you're going against me. You're going against these kids' parents. I don't think the kid parents want her. When they when they decide to send their son over to America to be a foreign exchange student, Tiffany just said 16 Candles, John. Maybe you should watch it. Biatch, I just said that. That does not deviate from racism. See, I, I'm a film buff. I watch all movies. 
knew that instantly. Doesn't doesn't change anything. It was Tiffany. This is how stupid you are. Oh my God! Clip channels get ready. Tiffany, don't you understand that that was racist in the Sixteen Candles movie? Don't you understand that it was racist then? That people have to you have to change and grow. You know, uh, Eddie Murphy said a lot of homophobic stuff in his uh, early '80s stand-up comment comedy because because how the '80s were. Eddie Murphy grows and he comes out and he says, you know, definitely wouldn't say that stuff now. You wouldn't say that now. Times have changed. You know, you know what I'm saying? You have no problem with it. <laughs> I, I, I honestly thought you'd be harder, Tiffany. I ain't going to even lie. I gave you more credit than I should have, to be honest. Smoking out on the 27th. Man, finance major, speaks Mandarin. Just like my husband. You got to hear him and my husband. I'm the Bombay. Someone said Tiffany has her masters in milk containers, not movies. Tiffany, people have contacted me. People have contacted me, Tiffany. They don't like you saying these generalizations, these dumbass theories about the Summer Wells case. You're fucking with the investigation, Tiffany. Do you care about that either? The fact she was approved for an exchange student blows my head. Yeah. And then my husband. <laughs> you should be embarrassed, yo. This shit is embarrassing, bro. And then Jake's like, Ching Ching, Ting Wah Wah Wah. And I'm like, Can we just decide what we're having for dinner, please? I Alice love- is calling you out on your racism, mommy. Ooh. Look, you mock how Chinese and Asian people speak. How Chinese and. And guess what? I'm starting to learn some shit. Yes. Okay. All day long. You, that was not a sentence. It- yeah, Tiffany think I only have drama people over here. She done, She's learning slowly that I have people all over from true crime on my John Hans channel now. Um, and uh, people, uh, a lot of people from the black American community come over here now. All right. All right. Well, all right. Ni hao. Is that a word? Oh, my God. Ni hao. Is that a word? Yeah, all stuff. But you know, I am not black. But um, my daughter's black. I, you know, you keep saying my, my children. A lot of people feel this no. way. Just a not, not a lot of people. My daughter, you're black, right here. Yeah. Oh, she's adorable. Oh, hold on. I didn't mean to do that. And the, the shock fucked me up. My bad. People ask me every wow. day. What do I do to look the way that I do? Uh, I don't know how to go back, so let me just put it back up there and go back to where we left off. Good Jesus. Don't look at those pictures up there. I'm racist. You know, Tiffany is going to make a video proving that I'm racist, so I, I cannot wait to see this shit. You got to follow your claims, Tiffany. Uh, she, she, I, you know, you keep saying my, my a children. lot of people feel this no. way. Just not, not a lot of people want to say you're it. black. Right here. Yeah. Oh, she's adorable, too. Wait, so wait. She just picked up her black dog and said her daughter's black because Molly likes to skirt racism. She likes to play around and put people down because she knows that people like Tiffany can spread and she can spread this notion that they aren't and they can play and, and play with ethnic, ethnic ethnic groups feelings like this right here. She knows exactly what she's hey, doing. So what, say that again. Someone <laughs> earlier, they can run with whatever. F- Ain't no dang way she showed a dog as a black daughter. Yes. And this is what Tiffany is on my panel to to defend and take up for. Because Tiffany did come out and say that that wasn't racist. Tiffany said you'll never be mentioned on my channel. Tiffany, you have this delusion that you're going to be bigger than me. And uh, I, I'm going to let you run with that. I haven't posted a single video in two months and still growing. Two fucking months. You're posting out insinuations every fucking day. It ain't happening, Captain. But you're going to have to learn like everybody else did, like all the people who made all them videos stuck to the Chris Watts case. You're going to have to learn actual skills. You're going to have to learn how to discuss more than one case. You're going to have to learn how to do actual research and not piss off the family of the uh, cases that you you try to do. You are a fucking, uh, you're pimping the Summer Wells case. You're not a true crime YouTuber. You have been on YouTube for three years only in the drama community came out and saw a fucking uh, a major topic and you hung your clutches to it. 
You don't give a fuck about that family. You don't give a fuck about Summer Wells, just like you don't give a fuck about the minorities your friend Laura takes up for. That's why you either A, know she already said this shit and don't give a fuck, or B, didn't know she said it and now doubling down once you're finding out now. Pick your poison, you dumb fuck.